take care of the machine and it'll take care of you. Yes. Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Brian. And we're here to show you how to properly winterize your Permagreen Triumph. Uh, now you can start with this spray system. Uh, what you're going to do is take a 50-50 RV antifreeze water mixture and you're going to fill these tanks up enough to where you can spray out of all four nozzles. Mm -hmm. Get them through those lines going into the nozzle, through the pump most importantly. And then you want to be left with enough of that fluid, enough of that solution to be over that strainer at the bottom of the tank, over that suction line. Then after that, you're good to go. Excellent. And so about halfway up that tank? Yep, is that, that, what that, that is? works. Absolutely. Hey, we have grease cirques too. Come on around the back. Lubrication, important on a permagreen. First one is in the back here. See it back there maybe. Second one down low here. Third one here. And the fourth one is down here, the other side of uh, the bionic steering arm. Now, if you have a newer Triumph, you will have this grease circ. If you have an older Triumph, you may not. So four here, and also one on each hub on the rear sulky tires. So make sure you get those filled with grease so you can protect your axle, of course. And any excess grease that comes out of those zerks, you wanna wipe that off with a rag. Yeah, and, and speaking of wiping off, uh, you wanna make sure you wipe down the inner workings of the machine. Now, and how to do that is if you pop off this hood, uh, once you pop that off, you'll have access to uh, the transaxle, uh, the pump, the spinner gearbox, mm -hmm. and you can take a product like this. This is fluid film. And matter of fact, we use this uh, to spray down the transaxle and engine on our new machines coming out of the factory. We use a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Real good stuff. And you spray, uh, spray it on a rag, and you can go in there, wipe down that transaxle, spinner gearbox, all those components there. And what that's going to do is not only clean off the fertilizer and that fertilizer residue that might possibly be on there, mm -hmm. but it'll also create a barrier between those components and the fertilizer protecting those going forward. Yeah, protection's the name of the game, especially when you're winterizing. Let's talk about the engine protection. Come on around the back. This screw here, 10 millimeter. You're gonna remove that. Obviously, warm up the engine for a minute. That'll help that engine oil drain out of there a little more easily. Get the oil out, get the screw back in, snug it though. Don't over tighten it. If you over tighten this, bad things will happen to the engine block. I've seen it uh, more than once. Um, you're gonna check your air cleaner if needed. Get a new one of those. New spark plug, not a bad idea. Or if nothing else, take the plug out, clean it, and regap it. Okay, so engine oil, let's get back to that for a second. Uh, the amounts in each engine, whether you have a Honda or a Vanguard, gonna differ slightly. Check your operator's manual for the exact ounces needed in your particular engine. But uh, engine oil changes, crucial. 10W30 goes in both uh, the Vanguard and the Honda. Stable, good choice in the tank. Want to put that in there. Gas station gas goes bad quickly with that ethanol in it. So stable is a must have in here. So engine oil, air filter, gas protection, engine's pretty much covered for the winter. Yep, there you have it folks. Some easy steps you can take to protect your machine over the winter. Remember, uh, take care of your machine and it'll take care of you. I love that line.